Hello, my name is Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. Today, I've got another installment in my Coding Bootcamp series, and this one is going to be all about my typical day at Coding Dojo. So, if you don't know by now, Coding Dojo is the bootcamp I went to. So, stay tuned to hear about a typical day that I had. <laughs> Okay, so for me, a typical day was I woke up at about 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> I'm not kidding. So waking up at 5.30 in the morning, and then I would start my day that way. I normally eat breakfast at my house, so I would have breakfast. And um, after breakfast, I would, you know, get myself together. And then I took the train to Coding Dojo. So Coding Dojo is in downtown Dallas. To keep gas low and to save money somewhere, I took public transportation. So um, you would find me on the dart rail, which is the Dallas kind of subway system. But <laughs> if, if you're in New York, you know it is subway, but it's like uh, the Dallas transit system. So I took um, the dart rail to and from the dojo. And I'd get there about eight o'clock. I'd leave about seven or so from my house and I'd go to the to the train station and then I would um, get on aboard the train and then get to the dojo about eight o'clock or so. Now, um, the day didn't officially start for us until 8.30. So I had about 20 minutes, uh, sometimes a little bit more than that before people started pouring into class. So um, I decided to go ahead and take that extra time and actually you know do a little bit of work that I needed to to do that required me to have a little bit more quiet time or just kind of catch up on some things um, the about 830 is when we would start algorithms so we would do algorithms on the whiteboard every day so um, or every weekday rather so we would do algorithms for about an hour after algorithms our instructor would give us a lecture on whatever we were going to be doing that day and it normally included okay what are we going to be doing and examples and that would be also be a time for discussions as well about any uh, thing that you're unsure about within what we're about to do or just things like that the next thing we would do is, is kind of just work on our own on our assignments so coding dojo has a platform and this platform has um, different things that you need to be able to do so if we were going through the mean stack we'd start with JavaScript just vanilla JavaScript then we would do um, angular would have a section and then mongoose had its own section and node had its own section and so we would kind of go through it individually before we would put it together so we had four weeks for each stack that we learned so we would spread out learning each of them individually and then we would bring them all together for a final project so um, we had our time to kind of work on our pro on, on our platform at our own pace and so we did that for most of the day now there sometimes and sometimes there wasn't we were the first cohort that graduated so sometimes we did not have um, group projects together but other times we did so if there was a group project we would work on the group project in the afternoon after lunch um, after that it would just be back to coding basically so I stayed till about 6 30 or so most days and then after that I would hop on the train come so back. when I'd come home in the evenings I would work on you know any types of bugs I couldn't figure out or just finish up an assignment or just whatever I could I would just be coding when I got home so I normally would finish up about 11 o'clock or so 11 30 um, and then go to sleep and start over again the next day so um, that was pretty much a typical day um, for me at my coding boot camp it's like I say when when I talked about what is a coding boot camp it's 
basically you just code all day so it's like I said if, if you love coding if you want to learn this if you're excited about code then you're really gonna enjoy it I also have a blog post as well over like a typical day so you could view that as well um, down below in the description box if if you would like I actually wrote like a whole blog about most of my coding bootcamp journey. There were days that I did not write anything, so that's happening. But for the most part, um, I did try to write something <laughs> or, or, or a summary of what was happening. So, But I will have a blog post uh, link below if you'd like to kind of check out a little bit more in details or kind of get like a big broader view or if you have any questions like I said leave them below I hope this helps that so you can paint a picture about what it's like to be in a coding boot camp all day and um, if you have any questions write them below I'd, I'd love to answer them for you and uh, thank you for watching and give me a like if it was helpful see you guys next time